Here's a quick demo of what I've been doing with the Blackmagic ATM Super Source that's in the 2ME uh, and PowerShell. Uh, copying some uh, good work that Doug did with some Lua script. I've translated that into PowerShell. And on the screen here you can see the PowerShell, uh, the multi-view output and the ME2 currently displayed in the software control panel and I'm just going to start a background video as one of my input sources you can see there and now I'm going to uh, switch to the super source on the program input Okay, so you can see my super source, and now I've got the ability uh, to run PowerShell commands that will change the layout. So I could uh, go for the first layout, or second layout, and one that I like is moving all the layouts out the way and then I can bring them uh, all back in again so the other option might be that I want to keep switching between one of the four inputs uh, just change some of those inputs so we get something a bit more interesting Maybe interesting. Yeah, can we box two, three, three. There we go. And you'll be able to see. Uh, hopefully, it's not too small. The, the numbers for the position and size changing as we select uh, different boxes to be the primary one on the screen. So if we go for the box on the top left. And go for the top bottom, sorry, the bottom left. We could go back to our four way multi view, and then we could go to the top right. So, quite simple, and you could assign any of the um, layouts to a a button on anything could be a, uh, a stream deck uh, like this one uh, could be a MIDI device could be X keys could even be a macro stored in the ATM software and I'll do a separate video on how to link uh, ATM macros to PowerShell functions.